Okay, in this third video <clears throat> tutorial that we're going to do on W3 Schools, what I want you to do is come down here and click on HTML Basic. You click on HTML Basic, it brings up a series of lessons that you can see. I'm going to scroll down here and you can see these. There should be about, uh, I think, seven examples. Got your uh, HTML documents, what this is, talking about uh, all HTML documents start with a document declaration, which is doc type HTML. That's what the browser is looking for. And the HTML document itself begins with HTML and ends with HTML. See an open tag and an end tag. Same thing. The visible part of the HTML document is between the body and the closed body tag. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit more um, and take a look at some of these. Um, we're going to do each one of these examples and then you're going to create a file and send it to me. I'm not going to do them all, but I'm going to show you how to do uh, a couple of these and from there you can send those uh, document types to me from your Google Drive. So let's come down here and start with this one. Try it yourself. Okay. This is kind of similar to the last ones that you did, but I'm going to go over here and say document type and I'm going to put in here uh, Richard Platt. Okay, and put down here, I am doing lesson three of W3 schools. Okay, I can delete that. Okay, uh, w3schools.com. Okay, now I'll come over here and I'll run this. There it is. Okay, now what do we do next? Well, what we do next is we come to these three bars and we say save code to Google Drive and on this one I'm gonna call this uh, whoops let's do that again I'll say save code to Google Drive and I'm gonna change the name of this to uh, Platt hyphen lesson 3 hyphen part 1 and then we'll hit save file Okay, so it connects to Google Drive and it goes out there and saves that file. And then you take that file from your Google Drive and you attach it to this lesson and send it up. Okay, we'll kill this window. And I'm going to go back to up here, if you notice at the top, back to this one. And I'm going to scroll down to this next one. And this is pretty good. I like this one here, actually. On this one, it talks about headings and how you can change those headings. And headings are like, you know, the introduction titles that you would see on a paragraph or a book it could be you know topics on a table table of contents so I'm gonna put down Richard Platt space now <laughs> Mr. Platt likes to work fast so I just highlighted that copy it I'll come down here and do it to this one do it to this one do it to this one and do it to this one and then I'm going to say this is a super easy exercise. Wish working out was that simple, but it's not. Okay, hit run. And there it is. I want yours to look like that, except instead of Richard Platt, it says your name. And down at the bottom, I want to see that right there. And uh, let's see. Oops, i got to change this. Okay, super easy lesson, super easy exercise. Okay, again, save it save code to Google Drive highlight this and I'm gonna say uh, can't remember what to put for the last one I'll say less uh, plat gotta put my name on there so I know who did it lesson three exercise or part two let's just say part two part two and I'll say file to Google Okay, it saved my file to Google. So as you've done these, you just go back and forth until you, you know you kind of track how much you've done. You look up here at the top on your browser. I got all these tabs open: YouTube, iCloud, uh, you know, HTML, and you know, all the way over here. Well, HTML. This is the first one. This is the first one you came to in the HTML basics. You kind of know where you are as you're navigating through there. Then you come down here and you change the one on the paragraph tag. You do that one. Very simple, people. This is not hard. So get those done, get them turned in, and send them to me as all being done. And I appreciate that, and we'll talk to you on Lesson 4.